This video is a short analysis for the pattern I illustrated in a previous video. You can call it dissecting the pattern. By doing so, we can get a closer insight on the way patterns are developed. This simple pattern is in fact a combined pattern, meaning it is made from two simpler patterns merged together to form this pattern. Now let's have a look at the pattern with the construction lines. As you can see, this pattern is constructed inside a secondary rectangle. This secondary rectangle itself is made of root 2 rectangle plus a square. If we split the pattern along the root 2 rectangle, we will get two incomplete patterns. One is inside a square, and the second one is inside root 2 rectangle. The reason I say incomplete patterns because if we mirror the pattern that is inside a square, we will get this shape, which is unusual and unacceptable. The same thing happens if we mirror the second pattern, we will get this unacceptable shape. These patterns are incomplete in their present state, but with a slight modification, we can rectify these patterns. Let's take the part that is inside a square first. If we extend this line, this shape will turn into a star. This small modification rectifies the problem in the pattern. Now we have a simpler and separate pattern. And when this pattern is mirrored, we do not have any problem. As for the second part, we need to extend this line first and draw one additional line. That will convert this shape into eight pointed star. Then we add these two lines. These lines will add a third star to this part. Again, all shapes are fine when we mirror this part. Therefore, both parts are completely independent. And now we have two simpler patterns. But look what happens when we join these two patterns together again. We have a completely new and different composition. This operation is called khiyata in Arabic, which means stitching or sewing. You literally sew one pattern with a second pattern without any changes to the original patterns to get a new composition. We also can stitch the very first pattern and the last pattern to get another new pattern. Notice how they join together seamlessly. We can also create foundation base for this new pattern. Therefore, we do not have to draw the two patterns separately. We also can develop this last pattern by taking this drum-like shape and inserting it into this position. Now we have another new composition. As you can see, dissecting the pattern helps us to understand the fundamentals of the pattern structure and highlight the importance of the proportion and the need to construct these patterns inside the specific perimeters, i.e. a square or a rectangle. This will certainly help with the unfolding of the hidden secrets of the pattern. And thank you for watching.